that the central bank is showing weak supervision over. I believe that the central bank should be able to tell Ghanaians how much they've given to their commercial banks in terms of foreign exchange and how the commercial banks have been trading with those currencies. Because we all know, and it's a fact, that most commercial banks have some dealings with black market operators. We know. And as Bank of Ghana, what have they been doing about it? We call on government, the president who appointed the governor of the bank, to find immediate solution and to track every dollar that has been given to commercial banks and the rate at which they dealt with with the open market and with businessmen. Secondly, a lot of importers are giving import uh, certificates or licenses to import. We want the central bank, as a matter of urgency, to find a correlation or reconcile the import certificates, customs declaration forms, and the amounts are stated thereon to find out as a means of finding out whether these importers truly use the foreign exchange that was given to them by the central bank and their respective commercial banks to import products. So those are the two key issues that I'm asking government to look at. One, on how uh, forex has been traded between commercial banks and the central bank and to the general public and to reconcile what importers have also done with regards to the import certificates they've received, the customs declaration forms and the forex that they've got from their respective banks. That is on the economy. I know that parliament has resumed. There will be uh, the budget. This year we haven't received anything with regards to common fund. It's going to be a major issue that uh, I believe most of us will be concerned with. The assemblies are crying. The assemblies want releases for development. It cannot be that we haven't, the assemblies haven't been paid their common fund for some time. As a concerned member of parliament representing the good people of Okaikwe Central, I've had discussions with my MC their IGF or their, their internally generated fund is bleeding. They cannot sustain the assemblies and they cannot undertake major projects that uh, is dear to their heart in their respective district uh, metropolitan and municipal assemblies. So I, I think it's long overdue. People are asking for national dialogue. We know that if the central banks has, had, had been very firm on treasures of the commercial banks, we wouldn't have gotten to this level. We know we have friends who work in the bank. Officers of the banks are giving currency to trade with or work with. How are they able to account for them? At what rate are they asked to trade with those currencies? How much do they sell them to black market people? You can go to a bank, then they'll tell you, as for we commercial banks, we don't have foreign exchange, but we can call somebody from outside to bring you foreign exchange. How did they get to know that some man somewhere has foreign exchange? How did they get to know? So it's as a result of weak supervision from the central bank on the commercial bank that has given them the opportunity to have access to black market dealers. Of course, there are also business people who want to make money. So if you give me $10,000 to trade with at eight, eight cities to a dollar, and I, as an officer of the bank, sells it to a black market dealer at 12 cities, they've made profit on the $10,000. The black market operator will also go to the black market and trade it off at 13 Ghana cities. Then speculation what? It can't rise, and that is what is happening to our economy.